Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. And today's topic is shortcut methods to find PI. This is the second method to find the PI means to find the particular integral. And this topic is from first unit linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Already we have discussed the first method, general method to find PI. Now the second method shortcut method to find the PI. Now there are different cases or type that depend on the function f of x. Now the first type or uh, first case when f of x is equal to e raised to x means exponential function where a is constant. Now the formula for PI is 1 upon phi of d into f of x. Now if the function is here particular exponential function e to the power x. Now how to find the pi for this exponential function it is equal to so the formula for pi is 1 upon phi of d into e to the power x. Now replace this d of phi of d by the coefficient a that a is from the exponential function the coefficient of exponential function. So replace the d by a and so the pi will be 1 upon phi of a into e raised to x. But the condition is here that phi of a must be non-zero. The denominator term phi of a must be non-zero. Because if it is zero, if phi of a is equal to zero, then it is the case of failure. If denominator is zero, then you get infinity. So the condition is there that phi of a must be non-zero. If phi of a is equal to zero, then it is the case of failure. And then in that case, how to find the pi? Then the formula is pi is equal to you multiply in numerator by x and then take the derivative of denominator. De your denominator is phi of d. You take the derivative of denominator means derivative will be phi dash of d. And after taking the derivative of denominator, you replace that d by a. And so the term will be phi dash of d and then replace that d by a means your term will be phi dash of a and the function as it is e raised to x. So your pi is x upon phi dash of a into e to the power x. Again the condition is there phi dash of a must be non-zero. If it is equal to zero then again case of failure it is again the case of failure, then again you repeat the same procedure. Means multiply in numerator by x, take the derivative of denominator. After uh, finding the derivative, you replace that d by a. And again the same condition will be there. The denominator must be non-zero. So you repeat the same procedure. So in that first type or case, uh, first case, there are subcases that subcase one is that if your phi of d is in the form of d minus a in to the power r this is the particular form of phi of d and the function is same e to the power x then in that case the pi is x raised to r upon r factorial into e to the power x this is case subcase one now subcase two is if the phi of d is phi of d into in into d minus a to the power r and the function is same exponential function here then how to find the pi the formula is here you first replace d by a of phi of d and then the formula for 1 upon d minus a to the power r into e to the power x is same as subcase 1. Solve this term 1 upon d minus a to the power r into e to the power x by the subcase, by the subcase 1 result. And so your result will be, your pi will be 1 upon phi of a into x raised to r upon r factorial into e to the power x. And the condition is that phi of a must be non-zero. After replacing d by a here for phi of d, your denominator phi of a must be non-zero. That is the condition. If it is zero, then it is the case of failure. And you know how to find the pi. 
डिस्कस इट केस वन सब केस थ्री इफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू के कॉन्स्टंट देन हाउ टू फाइंड पी आई देन टू पी आई इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन फाइव ऑफ डी इन टू के बिकॉज योर फंक्शन इज अ कॉन्स्टंट ऑफ के देन हाउ टू फाइंड पी आई देन इन दैट केस यू रिप्लेस दैट डी बाय जीरो डी बाय जीरो एंड दैट फंक्शन विल बी फाइव ऑफ जीरो Why we are replacing d by zero? Because when there is a constant function, then in that case we assume here e to the power zero x. The value of e to the power zero x is one, so we can assume here e to the power zero x, and it is an exponential function, and the coefficient of exponential function is zero, so you replace d by zero, and then your pi will be k upon pi of zero, and the condition is that pi of zero must be non-zero. If it is zero, then you know how to find the pi. If pi of zero is equal to zero, then it is the case of value. And discuss in case one. Now sub case four. If f of x is equal to a raised to x, then how to find the pi? Pi is equal to one upon pi of d into a raised to x. Now when the function is a raised to x here, then we can rearrange this. Function a raised to x as e raised to x into log a, taking log and taking uh, exponential function. We can rewrite this function a raised to x as e raised to x into log log of a raised to x, and then it will be a case of exponential function after replacing or rearranging a raised to x in the form of e raised to x into log a then it is the case of exponential function so replace d by the coefficient and here the coefficient of exponential function is log of a this is the constant term so you replace that d by log of a and so your pi is 1 upon pi of log of a into a raised to x here we can write a raised to x as e raised to x into log of a because if we uh, we can write this x as a power of this a so the term will be e to the power log of a raised to x and then e and log function they cut to each other cancel each other and so you will get your original function a raised to x so that we can write a raised to x as a e raised to x into log of a so this is the case one or type one results now the examples on type one or case one example first example solve d square minus 2d minus 3 into y is equal to 5 plus e raised to 2x plus 3 raised to x now this is the reduced form of l e phi of d into y is equal to f of x Here, d square minus 2d minus 3 is equal to zero is an auxiliary equation. It is the quadratic equation, so it has two factors. We can write this quadratic equation in this form: d minus 3 into d plus 1 is equal to zero. Minus 3 plus 1 addition is minus 2, and the multiplication of minus 3 and 1 is minus 3. So the factors are d is equal to 3 and minus 1. So the complementary function is here. C1 e raised to 3x plus C2 e raised to minus x. These factors are real numbers and distinct, different. So its complementary function is very simple. There are two different, distinct terms for the complementary function. Now the pi, particular integral, the remaining half solution. Pi is equal to one upon pi of d. Pi of d is d square minus 2d minus c. Into the function is here, five plus e raised to two x plus three raised to x. Now, how to find pi? There are three terms, so you separate all the three terms. This one upon d square minus two d minus three into five plus one upon d square minus two d minus three into e raised to two x plus one upon d square minus two d minus three into e raised to sorry into three raised to x. 
Now, how to solve for first term? Five, five is a constant term. So, when there is a constant term, then we replace d by zero. So, replace d by zero. The first term zero, middle terms also zero. So, only non-zero term is minus three. And this five as it, it is, so it is minus five by three. Plus, now the second term is exponential function e to the power two x. How to solve for exponential function e to the power two x? Replace d by the coefficient. The coefficient is here two, so replace d by two. Two square is four, so right here four minus two two is a four. Again, the value of d is two. Two two is a four minus three. Now the next term, the function is three raised to x. It is the function in the form of a raised to x. When the function is a raised to x, then we replace d by log of a. Now the value of a is here three, so replace d by log of three. So the next term. So from this step, next step, this first one, first step minus five by three as it is. Now simplification of second term, four minus four zero minus three non zero term. So one upon minus three. So minus one by three. This function e to the power two x as it is plus. Replace every term of d by log of three, log of three whole square minus two into log of three minus three, three raised to x. So this is the pi for the given LD, and then in last the general solution is y is equal to c f plus pi. So y is equal to c one e raised to three x plus c two e raised to minus x minus five by three minus one by three e raised to two x plus one upon Under root, sorry, one upon log of three whole square minus two into log of three minus c. This is the solution, general solution for the given LD. Now the next example, solve d. Sorry, solve d cube minus five d square plus eight d minus four into y is equal to e raised to two x plus two into e raised to x. So here. Phi of d is d cube minus phi d square plus eight d minus four. Equate it equal to zero. So it is an auxiliary equation. It is a cubic polynomial. So you find out the factors using the synthetic division, and then you will get after finding one factor, you will get a quadratic equation. You find out that uh, factors of quadratic equation. So total three factors. Here the factors are one, two, two, and so the complementary function is the two roots are equal and the remaining one is distinct. They all are real numbers. So complementary function is here: c one e raised to x plus c two plus c three x into e raised to two x. The second and third term is for the factor two. Because two is repeating two times, so we have already uh, written the formula for complementary function. When two roots are equal, then how to write the complementary function? So here we are using the same formula. When two roots are equal, then the rule for complementary function. So this is the complementary function for this given example. So its pi is equal to one upon d cube minus five d square plus eight d minus four. And the function is here e raised to two x plus two into e raised to x. Now separate both the terms. So we have the formula: the factors of d cube minus five d square plus eight d minus five are here. D minus one to d minus two whole square to e raised to two x plus one upon d minus one to d minus two whole square into two into e raised to x. Separate these two terms. Separated here both the terms. Now solve for everyone. For first term, the function is exponential function. Exponential function. Uh, the coefficient is two. So replace d by two. If we replace this d by two, two minus two will be zero. So it is the sub case uh, one upon d minus a to the power r into e raised to two x. The factor. 
and the coefficient both are same here. And first term, if we replace d by two, then two minus one is one. So you can easily replace here d by two. But for this, you use that formula one upon d minus a to the power r into a raised to x. So first solve for d minus one. So we replace d by one, uh, replace d by two. Two minus one, one. So we have this term plus second term two constant, right? Two as it is. Now uh, exponential function is e raised to x. The coefficient of exponential function is one. So replace d by one. One minus one, zero. So it is the case of failure. So you solve for uh, d minus two first. If you solve for d minus two first, uh, the coefficient of exponential function is one. So one minus two is minus one. Minus one square is one. So this is the next term. Two upon d minus one into e raised to x. Now again solve for uh, d minus two whole square. Here the function is e raised to two x. So if we replace two d by two, then it is a case of failure. So it is the uh, it is that type one upon d minus a to the power r e raised to x. So the formula is here. The value of r is here two. So x square upon two factorial into e to the power two x. And here, if we replace this d by one, because coefficient of exponential function is one, then it is a case of failure. Then multiply in numerator by x. Derivative of denominator. Derivative of d is one, and for this one it is zero. So derivative of denominator is one. Or you may use the same formula: one upon d minus a to the power r into e raised to x. The factor is one, the coefficient is one. So and the value value of r is here one. So x raised to one upon one factorial into e raised to x. So for both the terms, we are using the same formula, and that formula is here. We are using this formula. One upon d minus a to the power r into e raised to x is equal to x raised to r upon r factorial into e to the power x. Okay, so this is the pi, and the general solution is y is equal to c a plus pi. So you just add complementary function and particular integral, then we have the general solution here. So here are some examples for homework: d square plus 4d plus 4 into y is equal to e raised to minus 2x plus 2 raised to x plus 3. So this is the second example, and answers also answers are given. You try to solve these two examples. You take it as a homework. Now the second type for case two e is here of shortcut method. The case two is when function is f of x is sine of a x plus b or cos of a x plus b, where a and b are the constants. Then what is the formula for pi? Pi is equal to here one upon phi of d square into sine of a x plus b. So when there is a sine of a x plus b function, then in that case we always replace d square by minus a square. We replace only the terms of d square and not of d. Remember that we always replace the term of d square by minus a square when there is a sine function sine of a x plus b. So replace the terms of d square by minus a square, and so the next term will be one upon phi of minus a square into sine of a x plus b. And the condition is that that phi of minus a square must be non-zero. The denominator must be non-zero. If it is equal to zero, then it is the case of failure, and then its pi is equal to multiply. It is the case of failure, so we you know how to solve the term 
case of failure, we always multiply in numerator by x. Then we take the derivative of denominator, derivative of this term, derivative of phi function will be phi dash. And after finding the derivative, you replace the terms of d square again. Replace the terms of d square by minus a square into sine of x plus b. Again, the condition is here that phi dash of minus a square must be non-zero. If it is zero, phi dash of minus a square is equal to zero, then again the case of failure. And then you repeat the same procedure. And same result formulas are there for cos function also, cos of ax plus b. In cos function also, we have to replace the terms of d square by minus a square. And same, in the same way, you find the pi for cos function. Now here, uh, you revise the uh, formulae or trigonometric results. That first one is sine square theta is equal to one minus cos two theta by two. Cos square theta is equal to one plus cos two theta by two. Then product formulae, two sine a cos b is equal to sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b. Two cos a cos b is cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. 2 sin a sin b is equal to cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. Now the examples here. Solve d square plus 4 into y is equal to sin x plus cos 2x. Here it is a reduced form of LD and here auxiliary equation is d square plus 4 is equal to 0. If uh, it is, sorry, it is the quadratic equation d square plus 4 is equal to 0. So it has two factors and factors are d is equal to plus minus 2i. Because if we ship this 4 in RHS, the term is d square is equal to minus 4. If the square is a negative number, so here we introduce i square. So d square is equal to 4i square. And so the factors are d is equal to plus minus 2i. So the complementary function here, so the roots are complex roots, plus 2i minus 2i. Here the uh, real part of complex number is 0 and imaginary part is 2. So the complementary function is c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x. Now the pi, the formula is 1 upon d square plus 4 into sin x plus cos 2x because the function is here sin x plus cos 2x. Now there are two terms, you separate both the terms and so that you will get the term 1 upon d square plus 4 into sin x plus 1 upon d square plus 4 into cos 2x. Now for sine function, we replace d square by minus a square. The coefficient of x is here 1. So the value of a is 1. So you take the square of 1. Square of 1 is also 1. So replace d square by minus 1. And so the term is here 1 upon minus 1 plus 4 into sin x plus now the second term the function is cos 2x same rule is there for cos uh, function also the, the coefficient of x is here too so the value of a is 2 the square of a is 4 replace your d square by minus 4 if we replace d square by minus 4 minus 4 plus 4 0 case fails so multiply in numerator by x and then take the derivative of denominator. Derivative of d square is 2d. And this cos 2x as it is. Now simplify the term. Minus 1 plus 4 is 3. So sin x upon 3 plus x upon 2. Now sin 2x upon, there is one correction here. This is d. This is d. And this is D here. The term is here D. Okay. Okay. So the term is here x by 2 into 
sorry sorry actually it is the uh, calculator term so the calculator term term is here sin 2x by 2 calculator term is here this is correct see x by 2 this x by 2 as it is and cos 2x by d now 1 by d is integration when d is in denominator the in that case we take integration of the function so 1 by d of cos 2x means integration of cos 2x integration of cos 2x sin 2x upon 2 because the coefficient of angle is 2 so integration of cos 2x is sin 2x by 2 And this x by two as it is, so it is correct. So the answer is sine x upon three plus x into sine two x by four. Two two is a four. So this is your pi. Here you note that one upon d of cos two x means integration of cos function because our original function is cos function cos two x from the given l. So you just integrate cos two x and not x into cos two x. This x is because of the case of Pellier. So this x by two as it is. So this is the pi here, and then the general solution is y is equal to c f plus pi. Okay. The next example is here. d square plus 16 into y is equal to cos square 2x plus e raised to 2x. Here auxiliary equation is this is the reduced form of L D. Auxiliary equation is d square plus 16 is equal to zero. D square is equal to minus 16. Square is a negative number, so there we introduce i square, and so the factors are plus minus 4 r. So the complementary function that roots are complex roots. Plus four i minus four i. Here, real part of the complex number is zero. So the complementary function is c one cos four x plus c two sine four x. You go through the rules of complementary function, then you have an idea how to write the complementary function for complex roots. So from that rule, we have written here the complementary function. Now p i. How to find the p i? Phi of d is d square plus sixteen. So one upon d square plus sixteen into function is cos square two x plus e raised to two x. Separate both the terms. Separate both the terms. So one upon d square plus sixteen into cos square two x. We have written here the formula for cos square two x. The formula is here one plus cos four x by two. Double angle formula. And e raised to two x as it is separate these two terms. Now again there are two terms one plus cos four x and one by two is common for both. So separate both the terms one upon two into one upon d square plus sixteen plus one by two into one upon d square plus sixteen into cos four x plus one upon uh, well, solve this term here. When there is exponential function we replace d by the coefficient. The coefficient is here two, so replace d by two. Two two square four plus sixteen into e raised to two x, and so this one by two as it is. Uh, here it is a constant term. When there is a constant term one, constant term is one here. Then uh, sorry, this one by two is here. Then in that case we replace d by zero. If we replace this d by zero, it is one upon sixteen. Sixteen to the thirty two. So one upon thirty-two plus this one by two as it is. Now how to solve for cos function? Replace d square by d square by minus a square. So what is the value of a? A is four. The square of four is sixteen. So replace d square by minus sixteen here. Here replace d square by. Minus sixteen. Sorry. Ah, 
replace here d square by minus 16. It is not minus 4, it is minus 16. Minus 16 is here. Draw here minus 16. Here, you can write Sorry, here replace d square by minus 16 minus minus 16. Okay. Replace d square by minus 16. And if we replace d square by minus 16, minus 16 plus 16, 0. So it is the case of failure. So So it is the case of failure. So multiply in numerator by x, take the derivative of denominator. Derivative of d square is 2d cos 4x plus 1 by 16 plus 4, 20 e raised to 2x. And after simplification, we have this result. Yeah. 1 by d integration cos 4x is sine 4x upon 4. And after simplification, we have this PI. And so the general solution is y is equal to CF plus PI. And this is your answer. So here, the second case is over. First and second case is over. Thank you very much.